know, created in God's image. For me, what that means is, you know, God created everything. We were created in his, his image. That means we were created to create. Um, and you think about, you know, what's the ultimate, you know, creation. It's when two human beings come together for the greatest miracle known to man, which is the creation of another human being. So when you're watching porn and masturbating into a sock or napkin or towel or on yourself, if you're that miserable, um, you know, what are you doing? You're, you're literally wasting half of the equation for the greatest miracle in the world, which is the creation of a human being. If you can learn to harness that, and I don't want to sound too woo woo here, but I do believe in sex transmutation. Uh, I believe that we can harness that creative power and put it into creating other things in the world, creating a business, launching a podcast, uh, you know, all the things that as entrepreneurs you're trying to do as an entrepreneur, you are a creator. Right. Uh, your job is to create for the world. So if you're struggling to create content, um, because you're, you're, you're wasting your creative juice uh, every night at the end of the day, because yeah. you're too stressed to, to deal with it, begin to kind of look at, okay, like if I can learn to harness this, create the life that I want, create all the things that I was put on this earth to do. Yeah. Don't you think that God is going to bless you in the right way with the family that you've always dreamt about? At least that's what drives and motivates me. I love that. And, um, you know, I think, big thing that both you and I, you know, probably connected on with that book, uh, Surfing for God. And I know it's probably influenced your coaching a lot, which I want to talk about in just a moment too, and how you specifically work with men who are ready to uh, fight this fight that must be won is, um, you know, having a bigger vision for your life. And when you do have like a bigger vision and you're, you're occupied, like you don't have time, you know, like you don't even have emotional energy to exhaust on on, on this and because you're being pulled towards your purpose. And, uh, I know you do a lot of work beyond just like, you know, there's the tactics of, you know, trying to avoid it, but again, maybe kind of wrap up, you know, what, what is like the root issue? You know, when, when you're constantly running into this, like, where do you see the most, let's use a business term, where do you see the most payoff? with your coaching students, like what activities do they really start embracing in their life that really, they're not like, Oh, I put the, you know, the, the password on my phone and on my computer, I don't have access to it anymore. Now it's all better. Yeah. That stuff, I guess there's nothing wrong with it, but like, I know you're not going after, you're not providing those band-aids you're treating, you're treating the root issue of, the root issue is that there's something missing and you're searching for something that only something can fulfill, which is a greater purpose. What activities and actions should men be prepared to start pursuing if they're going to start working with you and to start to see a real transformation in their life? Yeah. Great, great question. And yeah, you know, sometimes we'll use, you know, we'll use tools like that. We'll use the software, uh, you know, blockers or the covenant eyes, you know, like you said, those are band-aids or, you know, those are just short-term crutches and, 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 and fixes. You know, I, I had the saying that I've really built, you know, the entire coaching business and practice off of it's like in order to overcome your addiction to pornography, you must become the man that is no longer addicted to porn, put a major emphasis on that word become, you know, so, you know, in my addiction recovery coach, maybe in my health and fitness coach, probably, I, I really think I help men with their identity more than anything. I help them become the man that they were created to be. Um, so, you know, I guess it kind of depends upon the season of life that the guy is in. So, you know, I've worked with every, everybody from, you know, men in their mid to late fifties that are, you know, married with kids and grandkids to I have an 18 year old, you know, high school student right now that I'm coaching with. So it really kind of depends on, on where they at. I can tell you the majority of the clients that I work with are somewhere between 25 to 35. Um, you know, single men or men that are in relationships, not yet in a family. Um, and where we have the greatest success is advancing them in their career. You know, whether it's, um, you know, one, one student I worked with in, in, in four months, launched two e-commerce businesses. Um, you know, he was, he was a full-time working engineer, did some ministry work and service in his, in his church. Um, and just opening up all his free time and giving him structure in his days, we put him in a position where he launched an Amazon drop shipping business and then an e-commerce uh, Shopify store in 16 weeks. Um, a second client that I had uh, was an online fitness coach out of the UK, never broken $7,500 in, in a month. Um, our third month working together, he exceeded 10 K and then our fourth month, he hit a record month of almost 15, 15 K just helping him get clear, realizing that all this time, not just the time being wasted, but how much 
time was it taking him to recover mentally? How much time was it taking him to recover emotionally? How much time was it taking him to recover spiritually from all the damage he was doing? Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's just getting clear. And, and, and this is a lot of what we do in the first couple of weeks. We look at the impact, we look at where has it really had a negative impact on your life. And then we work together to build a, a future vision, to build a vision for what you want to accomplish because you, you, you said it. And, and I think any, any true recovery from any addiction is going to require some type of spiritual transformation. And that is, you know, when I talk about that, that's just having a deeper sense of meaning in your life, knowing that you were put here for a specific purpose and it's your job to bring that purpose to life. Um, so once we can kind of get clear on that, but, you know, we've seen marriages, you know, reestablished, you know, getting closer to, to their wives. I think one of the greatest things that I'm able to do is I'm help, you know, helping guys reestablish their relationship with God and, and finding themselves again there. That's, that's the greatest call that I have as a Christian is, is creating disciples. So get a lot of men that have either, you know, walked away or they felt disconnected because of their behavior are getting reconnected with, with, with Christ or, or with God. And then, you know, I think the, the business and productivity side of it, so we help them build structure, you know, we help them build routines in their days, you know, how do you, how do you, you know, make sure that you don't watch porn, plan your day without porn. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> like, you know, it sounds really simple, but I know you, you, you get it. Like if you just, if, if from the day, the minute you wake up to the minute you go to, go to bed, you know exactly what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Porn's not on the schedule. Then if you look at porn, then you're the one responsible for it. So it's, 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 it's structure, planning, accountability, and ownership. 